Back, 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 back. It's gone. They've knocked it out of the park. Mm. They smashed it. A U.S. cruise line is enhancing passengers' experience. They're building on their all-inclusive idea, and they're saying, hey, once you get on this ship, if you want an all-inclusive experience, you are going to get it. We're going to share that experience with you today. We're also going to share with you today a phrase, something like, Hey, baby, you want to go back to the room real quick? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking. We're not talking about that, but you're going to see today why I might say that phrase to Miss Ola Amanda. Yeah. Cruise news. Let's talk about it right now on Island Time. A big happy Thursday to all you Islanders. Welcome back to the island. I am your host, Derek, and together today, we're going to talk about all-inclusive cruising on the islands. We're going to relax together and all pretend that we're on a cruise ship right now and anything we want is included. Before we do that, let me first share the news that's shared all around social media right now. If you're cruising out of Galveston this weekend in particular into the next several weeks, Whew. Traffic is awful. One lane on I-45 going east. Get there early. If you can fly in, drive in the day before, do it. If you can stay in Galveston the night before, do it. We're going to be in the, that same position in three weeks as we cruise June the 4th on the Carnival Dream. We're excited, but I wanted to share that news. And let's get into this news. This is fun. This is would change the industry if it can gain some momentum here. Princess Cruise Line. You may not have ever even sailed Princess Cruise Line. You may have never considered Princess. If you have, let all of us know what that experience is like in the comment section below. We would love to hear about it. I'm going to share some cruise news with you from Princess that's going to blow your mind. It may have you saying, you know what, let's give Princess a try. Yeah, just wait. If you're a, a gamer, a gambler, you like to play games, you like to have fun, you just wait till the end of the show. It's going to be here in just a few minutes. But first, let me share this with you. Princess is introducing a new level of all-inclusiveness. They've had a small level before. They're keeping that for all you Princess fans. But they're introducing Princess Premier, an all-inclusive package that's offering guests anything you want on board. You can have Wi-Fi for up to four devices. You can have premium top shelf beverages. You can have photos, specialty dining. Your gratuities are included. It's all in this new premier all-inclusive concept for Princess Cruise Line. It starts at $75 per day. Not a bad deal when you look at what you pay for cheers on Carnival. The drink package on Royal Caribbean, $75 a day is not bad when you look at it. This new package, Princess Premier builds on what Princess has already done. This is not new for Princess. This is just a new elevated step. It's what customers have wanted in surveys is what they have said. It builds on the Princess Plus package, which is not going anywhere. The rates are increasing from $40 to $50, but it's not going anywhere. John Pageant, the president of Princess Cruise Line, said that 50% of guests were buying that Princess Plus package and they wanted more. They wanted more things to be included. So they've made this new package, Princess Premier. Here's what it's going to include. Unlimited medallion net Wi-Fi, the best internet that Princess has. You have it, four devices can connect to it. A new Premier beverage package, top shelf spirits and cocktails up to $18 with bar service charges included, so you don't have to pay that extra gratuity. New selection of wines by the glass, how about that? 25% off bottles of wine, specialty coffees, smoothies, and bottled water is included in the $75 per day. Two specialty dining meals per person and photos are included. Any picture you take on the ship, you get the digital download of that. Plus, you get three, three eight by tens that, that they'll print off, they'll give them to you. You also get entries into the princess prizes. It's a game system on board that I'm excited about. I would love this. If you like playing games, stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. And then, of course, your, your tips are included in that. You get all of that for $75 per day. 
What a deal. What a steal. They say it's 50% off. If you added everything up, it's 50% off is what they say. Princess Premier goes on sale May 25th, later this month, for cruises starting June the 25th. So by the end of June, cruisers will be cruising with this Princess Premier. I cannot wait for it. What do you think about this? This makes me almost want to try Princess Cruise Line, right? Does it not? Do you hope, would you hope that other cruise lines, Royal Caribbean and Carnival, would look at maybe something like this, an all-inclusive option? I know John Hild over the years has asked you know, frequently, is this something you would like? Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people that would like this Princess Premier package or the Princess Plus package. You're still keeping it around, going to $50, but it includes unlimited Wi-Fi for a single device, beverage package covering up to $12 per drink, 25% off bottles of wine, it includes specialty coffees and drinks, smoothies, things like that, and your crew appreciation as well. I would like it. I want it. What are your thoughts? Would you buy the lower package? Would you buy the higher package? Let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear your thoughts. And while you're down there, if you have not subscribed to this channel and this community yet, you are missing out. Please be sure to subscribe, ring the bell to receive notifications when we upload content, which is just about every day. Now for all you gamers, listen to this. I'm staying in the room or near the room for this reason. This is exciting. Princess Premiere also includes entry into princess prizes. You can buy yourself into princess prizes if you don't get princess premiere, so don't worry about that. But listen to this. It's an experience that transforms guest staterooms into a game. Literally, every time you walk up to your door and you scan your medallion, princess uses the wearable technology, you check into your room, open your door, you're entered in, you're playing a game where you can win prizes and onboard credit, specialty dining, drinks, cash money. Every time you go to the room, I would be going to the room all the time. Hey baby, you wanna go to the room? Yeah, I'm talking about I wanna scan my, wanna scan my badge here. I wanna see if I won. I would be going all the time. I'd be laying in bed, taking a nap, laying in bed at night, and I would wake up and think about, oh, let me go outside for a second. Let me scan. Let me scan here. Let's see if I won something. Unbelievable. A one-time entry fee of $20. Okay, for $20 you can play this Princess Prizes, or it's included with Princess Premier, but it's $20, $20 per day uh, when you purchase separately. Every time you go to your door, bam, scan it, you can see if you won, what will you win? You can win all kinds of prizes up to $100,000. And this is not just one cruise, this is all the time. Up to $100,000 in cash and a cruise for two every year for a decade. What a prize, that would be really cool. And of course, other uh, prizes like $25 up to $250 for you to spend on board. So onboard credit, free drinks, uh, free dining experiences, chef's table experiences. How about that? They're also going to give away $5,000 every single cruise. It's just, it's neat. It really is a neat concept for those who on vacation like to, like to gamble a little bit. You play a game. It's something that you don't get to do at home. It's part of the experience. You may not win, but Soren, around you may win. It's fun for everybody. I have to ask you, if whatever cruise line you're selling on, Celebrity, Norwegian, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Princess, whoever it is, if they had this game where you played $20 a day, would you play? Would you play your whole seven day cruise? Would you play for one day? Would you get excited about it? Would you go to your room just to check in and see if you won something or would it not even change the way you cruise? It would change the way I cruise. I'll be up front with you. I'd have to go scan, see if I won something. Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. An exciting day for cruising. We see it, how things continue to evolve. And yes, today's news is about Princess Cruise Line owned by Carnival Corporation, but these things have domino effects on other cruise lines. I can't wait to see what else comes. What's next from Royal Caribbean? What's next from Carnival? I can't wait to see. I can promise you this though. Whatever it is, I'll be here to share it with you. You know that. I hope you enjoyed the content today. If so, give us a thumbs up and we'll talk to you tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow, right here on Island Time.